Hey guys, welcome back to Paracord Planet. Today we're going to be making a variation on the 8 strand round braid using microcord. It's a little bit complicated to explain, so I think I could tell you best by showing you. Let's dive right in. So for this project, you're going to need six pieces of microcord in five different colors. I've cut them each to about five feet long to make sure that I have enough. I've got two black and then one each of white, blue, red, and yellow. Start by finding the very middle of your cords, and then we're gonna begin by twisting them around each other. Once you have about four inches of twist, wrap nice and tight, we're gonna fold that in half and let it twist around itself. And then take two of your black cords, or whatever color you've doubled up, and we're gonna be wrapping that around the entire bracelet to hold that all in place. Just use a simple overhand knot to tie it down. And snug that right up underneath your twisted portion of the bracelet. Like that. Now we're going to begin the actual part of our weave. You want to line all of your black cords on the one side and lay them out flat. And then on your other side, you're going to take one each of your other colors. And lay them out flat as well. And these other four of the same colors are just gonna stay in the middle. And we're gonna be wrapping around those. All right, so to get started, with our four cords on each side, take the top of the left side and bring it around across the front and between your two sets of two on the other side. So between your second and third string and then back around the back to your black side. Make sure your right side cords stay in the same order as before. Cinch that down tight, as tight as you can at this point. And now we're gonna be taking the top cord on our right side, so in this case blue, bring it across the front I'll bring this up a little bit closer so that you can see. Across the front, between your second and third black cords, and then around the back, back to the right side. So now our blue that was on the top is now on the bottom. Again, we'll take our top black cord, making sure that these all stay in the same order again. Top black cord across the front. And now between our white and yellow, around the back, and down to the bottom of your blacks. So I'm gonna do a couple more of this pattern back and forth and you'll be able to see what it looks like once it starts stacking on top of each other. All right, so we've done about an inch of this weave. You can see with the doubled black cords, we've got a stripe down each side and then lateral stripes with each of the other colors. So I'm gonna continue in this pattern and then I'll show you at the end how to finish it off with a knot that's gonna fit through this twisted loop at the top. All right, so we've made it down to the length we want. I've tried it on and it fits just about right leaving enough room for a knot here to go on the end to fit through our, our loop on this end. This twisted loop here is just gonna hold that knot in there nicely so that the bracelet won't fall off. So now on this end, to finish it off, we're gonna do much like we did at this end, and we're gonna wrap the black cords around the entire thing. 
So you can go ahead and let go of your colored cords, combine those all together, and also two of your black cords. And now we're going to be taking these two, and how I'm going to do this is wrap it around my finger. So holding onto the bracelet with my finger, and then wrapping back this direction towards the bracelet end. We're going to go full three times around, and then put these cords through that loop. Then you can pull that tight. You might have to kind of feed your outer cords around to make them all even and not overlapping. Tighten that down right over the end of your braid. Once that's tight, it finishes it off nicely like that. And now we're going to be clipping most of these cords. But we're going to leave four of them to make a diamond knot at the end. This is just going to be like a two-strand diamond knot. We're just going to be doubling up our micro cord because it's so tiny. We want a knot that's big enough to hold the bracelet on our wrist. So I'm going to use black and two yellow. Actually, black and black would make more sense, wouldn't it? So I'm going to be using the four black cords. So set those aside. Have to untangle them from the rest of your colors. And then we're just going to clip these all right down next to the bracelet. All right, so now we've got our four black cords. We're going to be separating those into two groups of two. And then if you've seen us do a diamond knot in one of our other videos, it's a little bit complicated of a knot, but I'll try to go over it here as well. So lay one cord across your, your palm. I'm just using two fingers in this case because we're dealing with a smaller cord than 550 paracord. And then with this other one, make a loop and then fold that loop upward. So we've got my standing end of the cord going over the working end of that loop. And then we're going to take this bottom cord and put it underneath our other end. You can melt these ends together if you want. And that'll keep them from separating and getting confused. We're just going to treat this as one rope. So it's going to go over that first row, underneath that middle one, and over the last. So over, under, and over. And we've got this knot right here. I'm going to take it off my fingers at this point because it'll hold together. And I'm just going to cinch that down a little bit closer to the actual bracelet. So you can feed your cord through. Be careful that you still keep the shape of the knot. And in this case, keeping your cords together. We'll have to tighten that down some more at, at the end here. Then take one of your cords, and in a counterclockwise direction, we're going to wrap it around that standing end. So around that end and up through the middle of your knot. Then the same thing with the other end. We're going to be wrapping it past that standing end and again up through the middle of the knot. With this all being black, it's a little bit hard to see on camera. So we will link to a video where we cover this knot in the description if you need some more detailed instructions. You can finish this off with a just a simple overhand knot too, but this will look a little bit more polished off. All right, so now we need to tighten that knot down, and we'll do that by gently pulling on the ends and kind of gently pushing this into place. Once you get most of the way tightened down, then you can start feeding the cord through if you want it closer to the bracelet end. I've got a little bit too much room here, so I'm going to do that. So 
just feed your slack all the way to the other end. All right, once that's down close to the bracelet where you want it, now we can tighten this down the rest of the way. And you might have to be pulling on each one of these individual cords to get it to lay flat in the knot. If any cords are sticking out, just feed them through until you get the slack on your end. All right, we're gonna call that one good. So now you can clip the end of those, the same as you did before. And then flatten those against the end of your knot too. All right, so that is all done. And then to put it on, you can just kind of separate that, that twist to put your diamond knot through. And that'll just kind of twist back up and keep it nice and tight. Like we said earlier, this is a little bit different from the bracelets that we've covered in the past. Um, so if you like this kind, let us know in the comments and we'll do more of them. Um, if you love the standard paracord bracelets and more the tactical style, let us know that too. Um, we'll put links to where you can find microcord down in the description. We'll put a link in the description to where you can find microcord like this. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.